simply should be stated that he is being silent. And remember, a closed mouth gathers no foot. And he should be quiet. And not yeah, I'm not going to give him any awards or credit for that. Okay. Because I think at the end of the day, be a man and do the right thing. Set an example that your kids can be proud of. Instead of them looking at you saying, why aren't you helping bring mommy home? Why don't you cooperate with the police? I think the and silence of this part, point. that this man is a coward and he's not to be admired and he should stop hiding and come forward with some information or whatnot in order to help solve this case. Paul, what do you think? Well, I think as a prosecutor, one of the things that I'm really concerned about is those children. And they're still in the home and seeing all of this going on. Right. And they're seeing someone that is either interfering with the investigation or certainly not helping with the investigation and may even be the target of an investigation. So I'm hoping that Child Protective Services is watching for the sake of those kids because they have no other voice right now to stand up for them and their well-being. But I also want to remind viewers that even in a case like this, you can still charge someone with murder even without a body being found. That's correct. What law enforcement is doing is looking now, collecting evidence and looking for information which will lead them hopefully to where the whereabouts of the mother but at the very least a suspect and I think in the future you're gonna see that father facing a very lot of tough questions about his so. actions during the time that she yeah, disappears. Yeah and she disappears right before she's able to sign on the dotted line to have him kicked Absolutely. out of the house because he was threatening and menacing to her according to her affidavit. Didn't get a chance to Which sign that and then she's disappeared so it's very suspicious. Correct. All right, Correct. Paul, Ann, thank you so much. And if you have Thanks. any information on the whereabouts of Lisa Stevick, please call the Plainfield Police Department at the number on your screen. And coming up, which Tinseltown troublemakers are making headlines this week? Well, we take a look at this week's Hollywood Hot Sheet.